After more than 18 hours, the Coast Guard has suspended its search and rescue efforts for the six people still missing after the bridge collapse in Baltimore. The bridge collapsed early this morning because a cargo ship slammed into it, bringing down its center span. Well, now those six missing people are presumed dead. Michael Yoshida has the latest now from officials on the scene. In the early hours of Tuesday morning, a horrific crash leading to this mangled mess in the Patapsco River in Baltimore. The entire key bridge is in the harbor. According to Maryland's governor, a mayday call notified authorities before the cargo ship collided with the Francis Scott Key Bridge, causing this collapse. Witnesses describing what they heard. Sound like a bunch of Authorities say eight people were on the bridge when it collapsed. Two of them were saved from the water. This is an excruciating day for several families. No one on board the 984-foot vessel was hurt, but officials say the crew on the dolly notified authorities that the ship had lost power moments before slamming into the bridge. The National Transportation Safety Board now leading the investigation to figure out how this could have happened. Part of our investigation will be what, how was this bridge constructed? Uh, it will look at the structure itself. The Francis Scott Key Bridge is one of three connections between northern Baltimore and the southern half of the city. The collapse causing chaos for commuters. I use it almost every day to get to work. President Joe Biden already calling on Congress to fully fund and support efforts to rebuild the bridge. Local leaders grateful for the help. This state has been able to show what it means to be Maryland tough and Baltimore strong. In Baltimore, I'm Michael Yoshida reporting.